So I've accidentally become quite popular in Google for a couple of videos that I made on my YouTube channel that I never expected to get popular. If you go to Google right now and go how to draw an arrow in Figma, two of my videos about arrows come up as from some of the first hits in Google, which has meant that how to make a nice curved arrow in Figma and how to draw a circle of arrows in Figma have become the most popular videos on my YouTube channel. So, in an effort to round out the whole arrow series of videos that I've made on YouTube, this video is the ultimate guide about arrows in Figma, everything you could want to know, nothing missed out, the full shebang, here we go. Can we have a little... Right. So there's a couple of different things we want to achieve when we're making arrows in Figma. In the first and second videos that I made, I didn't touch on how to make an arrow that only has one head on one side or one head on the other. So the main three ways we're gonna focus on in this video is these three ways of making arrows in Figma. I think this pretty much covers every single reason and way and how you'd want to make arrows. The reason I've called this 2021 is because Figma have just, in the last few days of me making this video, made it a little bit easier to make arrows in Figma. So before we get to these, let me just run through a couple of concepts in Figma. So we are gonna use a line throughout this entire thing. So I'm just gonna press L on my keyboard and left click and draw out a line. And to illustrate what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna make the line thicker by, uh, let's make it seven or eight, so it's a little bit easy to see. And there's a couple of different ways we draw arrows and lines in Figma. The first and simplest way to draw an arrow and a line in Figma is to just left click on the arrow and in the stroke menu on the right hand side, click on the start point and the end point and just make them both the same. This is the little bit, the little cheeky bit the Figma have just added in in just the last couple of days and it makes this kind of thing so much easier. So you click on the start one here and I'm gonna go for triangle arrows and you'll notice there, it's put a, an arrow on the beginning. And then on the other end, we're gonna do triangle arrow two, left click off that and we have uh, a line with an arrow on both ends. Now, with this, the new thing that Figma have done, this means that you can put different arrowheads and not even arrowheads, different ends on the line much, 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 much easier than the way you used to be able to do this with Figma. So this is absolutely fantastic. So the other ways we'd want to do this is if I hit L again and draw out another line, and let's just make that eight points again. And the other thing we might want to do is only draw a line on one end of the line. So let's go for the right hand side of the line. In this instance, we'd click on the end point and then select triangle arrow again. And we've only got it on one line. The final instance we might want to do this with is if we've got another line and let's make this uh, eight Again, just so you can see it a little bit easier, there's another way to add an arrowhead to one line or the other. You double click on the shape and you go into this edit mode in Figma. This is something that isn't covered that much in Figma, but you double click, you go into a shape edit mode. Now you'll see that the points are directly visible. So I can actually drag these points around uh, at this point and just move them up and down and things like that. That's not what we're gonna do. That's not what we're gonna do. I'm gonna left click on this point here on the end so it lights up like that. It goes a solid blue. Once I have clicked that, I can now click these three dots here and change the end point to a triangle arrow. Now with the new way that uh, Figma have implemented with these new boxes here they've got in the stroke menu, you probably won't need to use that menu very, very often. But some of the stuff that we're gonna do in this tutorial right now, you may need to do that. So that's just to set the scene. That is how we're gonna begin 
with our arrows. So now you are a basic genius in making arrows in Figma. I'm going to turn you into a full-on master once I've fixed my hair. So we're going to go through three different ways of making arrows in Figma with a line. The first way that I'm going to do is we're going to make this nice smoothed curve. I've done this before in one of the other videos that I did, but I'm just going to show you a really quick way to do this once again. So we're going to go for the first one. Let's duplicate this and delete these other ones. And this is what we're looking to do. So I'm going to press O on my keyboard and make an ellipse like this. Quickly change it to a stroke and we'll make it eight points again so you can see it nice and clearly. And I'm going to do the thing I did in the first part of this tutorial, which was to double click it to enter shape edit mode. Double click. There we go. I'm going to click this top point here. Left click once and then backspace on the keyboard to make this nice smooth curve like this. Now all I have to do is left click on this once, select the end point on the right hand side here, and then just click triangle arrow, and we're done. It's as simple as that, you know, like super, super easy. I really love this new menu in, in Figma, by the way. I'm sure you can tell. So that's the first one. Dead easy, really simple to do. Now let's duplicate the second one and do probably this maybe a little bit more challenging one, but it's still not too difficult. I'm just going to show you a different way of achieving a very similar effect. So we're going to click O again on the keyboard, and that'll give us a nice ellipse. And I'll do the same again, give it an eight point stroke. Now we're going to do a different thing here. We're going to do a fancy thing in Figma. So I'm going to left click once on the shape, and you'll see a little, little point here that's called arc when you hover over it in Figma. I'm going to left click this and drag it out to the left hand side and suddenly we get this Pac-Man looking esque thing that's spinning around like this. It's spinning by the way because I'm moving it. And now I can make this shape that I've got on the left hand side by just dragging this to the point that I want the curved line to finish at. So it's around there or something like that. And I'm going to left click off it. And the final thing we need to do, we just need to break this shape. So the easiest way to do that is double click again, which will take us into the shape edit mode. Left click on the middle point, just like we did before. And click backspace. And we've got another shape there. Now all I'm going to do again here is just click the end point and triangle arrow like that. But this this way is another place where we could probably double click on it and click on one end like this and go into the advanced settings if we needed to. As I said before, it's not usually necessary, but you can do it like that if you needed to. And then the final one, the more fun one, is this bad boy at the end here, which is this snake looking arrow. All this is here is me using the pen tool and then sticking an arrowhead on the end of it. So whenever you've got a line in Figma, you have the potential to put an arrowhead on the end of it. So I'm just going to hit P this time for the pen tool, and I'm just going to draw out a line. This is just using the pen tool, which is obviously out of the scope of this tutorial, but I do highly recommend you learn how to use the pen tool in Figma, because it's one of the most useful tools across any design app. It isn't just unique to Figma. You'll use it in Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop, Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, Affinity Publisher, just all of them. There's always a pen tool in all of them. So it's worth learning. I'm going to hit Escape. And now I'm just going to left click on the shape again and just, just going to hit Triangle, uh, the Triangle Arrow. Obviously, I could also put this on the other end, the start, if I wanted to, like that. Or I could remove it from one of the other sides, and we're done. Simple as that. So that's how you make arrows in Figma. I don't think there's anything else you need to learn about these arrows now. I hope now that I've done everything to do with arrows, I can move on from this, continue with the podcasts, and go do something else. If you've got any other Figma questions or any other design questions in general, I do enjoy making these Figma tutorials. So hit me up in the comments and just let me know if you want to know more. Until then.
Bye-bye. Have fun with Figma.